Hey there, metalheads. Welcome to another edition of Joe's Record Store, the Christian rock and metal episodes. And uh, here's a band I've been wanting to talk about for a good while, but I kind of put it off because, as I've said about other bands, this is uh, one of those groups in my collection that I happen to have a lot of their stuff in the archives. So, uh, again, you know, just on one band, I'll have to break it, break it down into... Uh, probably several different episodes, uh, but uh, just like uh, every band in my collection, I try to start from the beginning, and uh, and as you see, there's the, I got the, these are the, the uh, reissue CDs by Retroactive Records, they're real good at putting out the old school again, you know, for us, uh, you know, aging metalheads that want to, uh, how would you say, update the format from yesteryear, or uh, you're just a new metal kid discovering, you know, the old noise for the first time. All in all, good fun. And on top, it's the same albums, but, you know, on cassette, which I've had literally for years, I haven't played them for years. Um, what can I say about Bride? Well, they were on pure metal, just like a lot of the other happening Christian metal bands. Uh, you know, during the uh, late 80s, or during the 80s and early 90s era. Um, they're from my neighboring state of Kentucky, and uh, I mean, definitely one of the most uh, long running, probably most self sufficient ministries slash bands because uh, if you. Um, if you're looking for a band that's going to tell you 101 reasons why you need Jesus, I mean, Bride is definitely was not shy about that. On uh... anyway, this is the first album. Again, CD reissue, and then it's got the liner notes telling the story behind the album. The cassette, which I got when I was a kid. Again, you know, that was a newly converted headbanger. Um. Actually, I bought this one. I got this one when I was, again, uh, all these albums I got when I was a newly converted metalhead. This is actually the first Bride tape I got, and then I, then I went, you know, to get this one, and then I got this one when it was just brand new, and it was just released. And, uh, the uh, first three uh, Bride albums that were on Pure Metal, um, if you just want pure, unabashed, you know, um, straightforward heavy metal, you don't really want, you know, the uh, the, the uh, commercial glam bands that was radio friendly, but you really didn't want to listen to thrash, you know, or weren't in the mood for thrash, something that was kind of in between. Bride pretty much filled that hole. Um, if I can make a secular comparison, kind of like Lizzie Borden, in a way. Um, very outrageous, pretty theatrical when had to be. Um, of course, you know, the first two Bright albums are using old medieval oil paintings uh, that you probably see in the cathedrals of, say, old Germany in, or, or England or such. Um, Bride Show No Mercy. I was ecstatic of the title because I was, you know, f how would you say, uh, Slayer had an album with the same. Uh, title, so I'm sure that turns some heads. Um, again, um, like a lot of pure metal releases, you know, the uh, the production quality of it was pretty low, low, low budget, low key. Um, like a lot of pure metal bands, uh, they pretty much had to do everything themselves. Um, sometimes, you know, they had to pay for their own recording, but uh, but you know, pure metal was just you know gracing them with the chance to be to be released on their label. So I mean, that pure metal really did not invest a lot in their bands monetarily. And uh, but uh, to Bride's good fortune, uh, when this album came out, actually sales went um, just skyrocketed. Um, because again, you know, there are a lot of new newly converted metalheads. You know, they wanted. They, you know, like me at the time, I still loved that hard and heavy sound, but you know, and I, but you know, I wanted that, I wanted that music that would be edifying. You know, that was my men, my mindset at the time, and uh, and, and so you know, I, I got Bride, and again, you know, I was just rebuilding my collection. I hardly had anything except, you know, a little stack of striper tapes, two white cross tapes, one Guardian, 
and then in, in these this is these were the first cassettes or the first set of tapes that I you know added on added on little by little over the years um, but I mean th these are this this is just a classic album and again just straightforward heavy metal traditional metal bride more the same the production how would you say the uh, the mix is kind of dry sounding but it's definitely better musically and uh, when they, the remasters really did the songs justice they actually they sound way better than any than the, any time I've heard them on these tapes you know way back in the day um, this is their their uh, third one it was the last album they recorded for pure metal before they just moved over straight on to so star song records you know silence is madness some Christians you know in youth group circles were kind of uptight about it because oh it's promoting evil and you know they they don't I guess you know, they weren't really in the heavy metal. If you want, unless you're actually coming from the metal subculture at that point in time, I mean, yeah, the artwork would probably run you, you know, rub you the wrong way. But you know, basically, it's just like you know, a guy living in sin, prisoner to sin. You know, sin is death. I mean, that's the whole meaning of the cover. And and these things were lifted out of cathedral paintings, so you know, come on. But. Uh, no, they were cha different logo, kind of like a like a neon drip graf semi graffiti style. Um, it was mainly with it and uh, a slight ch change of lineup. I mean, Bride's mainly been built around the two brothers, you know, guitarist Troy Thompson and singer Dale Thompson. This is a heavy record, but it's gone. There's a little more in the bluesy direction in those songs, but I mean, it's nothing that detracted too much from the formula of these two albums. Again, this is a heavy metal album, and uh, really good songs. Evil Dreams, Until the End We Rock is one about you know, the real meaning of Halloween. And uh, again, you know, this was a preachy band, and then they are from the Bible Belt of Kentucky, and... and I mean, in this part of the country, and there's many uh, believers that are ready to tell you 101 reasons why you need Jesus, whether you like it or not. And I happen to fall under that influence back then. Um, one thing that really got me amazed by the band was, you know, besides the music being good, I mean, Dale Thompson has this monstrous banshee voice. I mean, it's like... Uh, Probably like the, as far as like the shrieking singing style, that or that blues crooning. I mean, Dale Thompson has got it down pat. I mean, he, his voice makes the walls shake, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, well, anyway, and what I was saying, this album was selling. You know, it's picking up momentum. So pure metal decided, hey, people really are paying attention. Yeah, let's let's give them a little more money, a little more budget. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll give them the works. Wow, people, and of course, you know, White Cross was their priority band at the time, but Bride, you know, got enough notoriety where, you know, Pure Metal really did have to devote more resources to them. And uh, with these, now yeah, for the first three Bride albums, um, I would definitely highly suggest this. I have a vinyl of this that I found secondhand. I'm going to get it framed. Uh, Definitely, you know, the best of no frills, straight up heavy metal, and especially from, I mean, I have a real fondness in my heart for that pure metal era, because you know, it just reminds me when, again, I was, again, I was new to the faith, and, you know, I had this new music, this new alternate universe, which seemed like rock utopia, and I was ready to tell the whole world about Jesus, and I would... You know, I was going to lend you my tape. That was one of my silly witnessing tricks. But uh, this band's definitely been an inspiration over the years. And I'm going under just 10 minutes. Yeah, it's a good thing I cut this in pieces. Rock on, stay metal.